gentlemen, we are about to complete the men's quarterfinal lineup of the 2016 Winmore World Masters. We now introduce to the stage the reigning Hal Masters and French Open champion, the former BDO World Trophy champion. It's the Fox, Gert Divos. We now bring to the stage the reigning Isle of Man Classic and Welsh Open champion, the former Lakeside World Champion, it's Scotty Dog, Scott Mitchell! Final game of the day, and I'd say we're uh, still honoured to uh, have Martin Adams with us. And uh, Martin's been some cracking matches in the last hour or so, hasn't it? There have been, yeah, it's a fantastic. Uh, it's the last game now until, you know, that's it after this one till tomorrow. Topsy turvy between McGeaney and Waits. Dean Reynolds deserved more out of it than he got from Daryl Fitton, but there's a man who hasn't dropped the set yet. And he's looking very, very good indeed. Uh, and now, Gert Davos plays Scott Mitchell, 2015 world champion. Uh, these two have played each other four times. And Gert Davos has only won one of them. So, uh, his victory against Michael Meany, 3 0, means that neither of these two have dropped a set either. Somebody's got to. Well, yeah, they will do in this one, without a doubt. But. At the end of the day, I think uh, Scotty Mitchell is probably the favourite. But, Kurt DeVos, he knows what it's all about. And if he starts hitting them, he's magic at times. We've had a few favourites fall by the wayside today. The, uh, the <laughs> women's competition. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. First set, first leg. Scott to Rufus. All over the place. Game on. The headman of the, uh, the seed survived. Yeah. So, uh, four cracking quarterfinals there. Here we go. Absolutely. I caught up with Scott. One hundred. a little break. And uh, he was uh, listening to his music. He's one of those that sticks the headphones in. Everybody practices differently, but Scott sticks the headphones in. And uh, his wife, Sharon, watching on. Sixty. He was practicing, whereas uh, Gerd DeVos had a bit of a practice, then goes and stands for a bit, then goes back again yeah. to the board. So everybody's different. Indeed. We all are. None of us are... All practice the same we all do different things 100 if it works you keep doing it yeah jackie was back there <laughs> yes indeed jackie oh, gert's no. greatest supporter we'll see him i'm sure i heard uh, i heard scott mitchell shout i think jackie's got more gert the boss tops than gert the boss yeah. <laughs> he's wearing one today i know that this is good 140. Well, the way to start, we saw 12 maximums in uh, the McGinney match. A fair few in the last one as well, so these two have got something 59. to live up to. Scott well, 21 in, uh, 61, two games, two matches, 21 man That's brilliant. 84 left. 137. Brilliant. 180s in a Masters tournament belongs to one Larry Butler, yes, who uh, made think. it all the way through to the final last year. Hit 23 180s on 60. his way there. This year, Scotland couldn't get out of the qualifiers. It's a funny old game, isn't it? It is. Very funny old game. Well, it makes me laugh, I know that. Game shot in the first leg. Scott first Mitchell. Leg. Second leg, Kelsey to darts. throw first. Game oh, on. Without a blink, Scott Mitchell already one leg up. In fact, Larry Butler's in the practice room, sat watching the TV. 
sat watching everybody practice, probably wondering how on earth he's not moving 16. the TV stages this year. But uh, then again, we had Jeff Smith with us earlier on, who last time he came to Lakeside made it all the way to the World Championship final and exited early doors once we got to yesterday. So uh, yep. it is a strange old game. 83. Nothing is set in stone with this game. The Voss, 81. With an 81 here. Now, uh, against the darts, Mitchell's got a good opportunity to try and pull ahead here. Good dart. Over the top. 100. Well, he gets a thumbs up of approval from that table anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Eighty-one. You'll see uh, Scott wearing one of the Prostate Cancer UK badges. Uh, Martin, something very close to your heart at the moment. Yes, indeed. Yeah, I'm, uh, I've, I've uh, had treatment for prostate cancer. Sixty. The treatment's done now, and I had uh, as close as you can get to uh, an all clear for the uh, middle of November. So I've just got to wait now for the hormones to get out of my system. That can 96. take a year, they tell me. So I'm still getting up flashes. Quite useful in this room. <laughs> yeah. Warm out there. Not, not so much in here, but uh, of course the uh, Prostate Cancer UK been taken on by the video as their chosen Whoa, charity as well. So lots Hasn't of excellent been. work being done by everybody. Brilliant. I mean, there's there's a lot of money being raised so far with uh, through the uh, the dance community. One hundred and fifty-nine. One five nine Scott there from the Voss. That really does put the pressure on Scott Mitchell again. Can't finish from here. And DeVos found that. Dug deep and got a, a big score. Fifty-eight. Give himself a chance 24. to double twelve to level this all up straight away. No, he's down to double six. Game shot in the second leg. Get the boss. Third leg, Scott to throw first. Full level. Game on. 1-1. One, one. There he is, Jackie. Up cheering. I'll give you the uh, statistic about 140. the most 180s. And uh, you were in the statistics section of the World Masters as well. Uh, <laughs> you played some of the most times at a World Masters. 87 matches, including you won yesterday. Oh, uh, really? Over 24 events, apparently, 16. that is. 11 semi-finals and four finals. There you go. Well, you didn't uh, even know that. No, I won three of them finals. You did. Quite good. You did indeed. Uh, you and Bob Anderson have the, uh, the honour of winning it three times. Eric Bristow with five victories in the World Masters. Thought you were going to go well, ahead of Bob Anderson this year, but that wasn't to be, was it? No, it wasn't to be this time round. Maybe next year. You've been saying that for 25 years. Yeah, I know. <laughs> 140. 40 from DeVos. So, uh, Mitchell leading by 40. And he led us away. And, uh, whilst we haven't had... A a 180 yet. He's still scoring badly. I'm sure they'll be along in a minute, the 180s. 140. Good shot. Scott, you require 161. Trouble 20, trouble 17. Bang level. Oh. Not to be this time. Scott showing Gert how not to do it. 43. How will the boss have to require 161. Take on his 161. Had a second dart from him. 83. Oh. Scott loose require one. 118. Very loose at the uh, on the last dart. Great first dart. Double 20. To take the first set. And, uh, he helps you require 78. Mitchell knows it was close, knows it was a big opportunity. 78 here. Double 12. Great first start from Divorce. Can he use that first marker? 66. Can't. Too close to the Scott first one. And 20. It ricocheting in. Yeah, it happens, unfortunately. 
Good marker from Mitchell as well. Don't get no closer than that without gotta, going in. Got to get inside both of those now. No score. You can't believe it, Paul How did I get that in there? He was nearly off the stage. He was going so far to his left. Game shot in the first set. Get the boss. The boss. De Vos. Didn't need a second, second opportunity. Kept to throw first. And uh, Kept the boss leads. The uh, 35 year old Foxy. Six 16 of the last five World Championships. We talked about this with Dieter Hedman a little bit earlier. Just trying to get that next hurdle, isn't it? Just getting over yeah. your stumbling block. 140. Yeah. You have to keep playing at it, and you have to keep doing it. And uh, each time you get there, you mustn't think about the last one. The last time you were in that position, you just got to keep driving forward. Winner of the Video World Trophy. 60. In 2015. Uh, one of the four times these two have met was actually in the World Championships that Scott won. In the earlier rounds, he beat Gerd De Vos on his way to the title that year. 100. I'm glad you've got them stats because I haven't remembered that. <laughs> I struggle to remember my pin number most days, so it's a good time to write things down. <laughs> 26. As I say, De Vos knows he's only beaten Scott once in competitive action. According to the uh, stat books and information, anyway. 100. It's always nice to get that first victory against the opponent, isn't it? The longer that run goes on. When you look back at it, sometimes uh, you think that you're miles ahead of an opponent. 20 you know, years. Head but Scott, it turns out, you've got the stats. You're not. Many a time. You think, surely I'll beat you more times than that. Do you know yours against Scott Mitchell? No, nah, I haven't got a clue. You've got more than he has. Let's put 45. <laughs> That's good, then. Uh, if anybody you out there wants to write to Martin and ask him anything about his career, don't write to him. <laughs> ask somebody else. 100. Scott, you require 116. Uh, Scott's uh, it's Katie. away. There's Katie Mitchell. Good player in her own right. 8 shot the first leg, Scott Mitchell. Scott Mitchell. Second leg, Scott to throw first. Uh, Game on. Headphones in, listening to the Saturdays when I caught him a little bit earlier on. Was he? He was. <laughs> he said, don't say that, oh well, so I'm going to have to. <laughs> to be fair, there could be worse. 100. Amy Hughes and Jim Williams perhaps chatting through some of the moments yeah. from a little bit earlier on between the pair of them. At least they're all smiles, eh? There's a one hundred and eighty! He said it wouldn't be too long before it came along. I'm sure Jamie Hughes just said to Jim Williams, I thought you had me beat. <laughs> 43. <laughs> because we all did. Indeed. One hundred and forty. Well, he's followed his one eighty with a one forty. One hundred and forty. Mitchell won the last leg against the darts, and at the moment, the boss in a very strong position to do so straight back. One hundred and forty. An exceptionally strong position to do so. He is now. Well, you may be a little surprised he didn't go for nineteens uh, or seventeens at that point, or was he just so far ahead he didn't mind? He had to require forty-one. No, one forty. Take that. Take that big lump off for the one eight one. One on tops. Beautiful. One. You've got to get it in. Scott, you're not he had uh, something in mind. The Vos didn't quite come off, but uh, Scott Mitchell with a, a wayward first start and 
The cruelty is you follow it with that, eh? 78. He helps you by Mitchell. He's losing himself 58, but will he get that opportunity? No, he won't. shot in the second leg. Hit the boss. Third leg hit to throw first. Game on. So, uh, the Ross, the winner of the French Open, the Howell Masters, and the Open Zealand as well in 2016. Can he add the Windmark 2016 100. World Masters? Can he do it? Well, he's having to uh, take out some big opponents if he's going to have to do it. Because next up 60. for one of these is Daryl Fitton as well. As we just talked about, Martin, yeah. he looks in some very good form, does Daryl Fitton? He does. He's, he's playing some exceptional darts at the moment. Cool, calm and collected. Just going about the business. 81. from Scott Mitchell the, uh, the much unknown Kylie Edmonds goes through against Mark McGinney who knocks out the world champion Scott Waits that's another interesting contest to our I think that's going to be a great game because they're both high scorers we've seen that from Kylie today so now we know what he's all about both big sturdy fellas as well we might have to get some uh, yeah, extra, extra support for the staging area they are some, uh, <laughs> some big units Old slender get divorce here. 125. Concentration for these two etched on their faces. 100. Yeah. Steady the tones, bring it down. Scott, you require 141. It's a big ask. It is a big ask, but uh, it's on. It is indeed. Not now. Well, Scott doesn't know what he's done. We neither do we. So uh, <laughs> at least we're all in the same boat, eh? 100. He has to require 40. Uh, chuckling to himself, Scott Mitchell as he wanders away. But he's not far away from going two sets down, is he? No a score. Reprieve. A lifeline. A real reprieve. Scott, you require 41. Anthony Dundas with the catch of the flight. Double 16. One more of these. And we are on the second square. set. Scott Mitchell. Oh. Third Mitchell set, first leg. Uh, Scott to laughing to himself first. as he walked away. Came on. Didn't think he'd be coming back with uh, Divorce having three darts at double top, but Mitchell did come back. That's the thing you have to take those opportunities when they uh, when they arise. 140. A cracking start to this leg as well. It's upside oh, down. It's upside down. <laughs> All that time spent writing it. 60. <laughs> Brilliant. Was that the amount of degrees that it was wrong? Horribly. <laughs> 100. He follows that opening 140 with a 100. One hundred and forty off the barrel. Those pink flights. Sixty flying into the board, but uh, not getting anything like what Scott Mitchell would have wanted for that visit. He's on uh, two oh one. The boss is uh, just a hundred behind here, and in fact, let's uh, say that they're all square exactly. Then, one set each, two oh one required. Nine darts gone for so far. 
and we did think that this would be a pretty tight and tense affair and it's proving to be just that it is indeed 100 60 mm. Scott you require 101 for all of Mitchell's successes he's actually never gone past the quarter final of the world masters Game shot in the first leg. Scott Mitchell. Scott Mitchell. Oh, right shot. Darts 101. Second leg here to throw Brilliant first. Shot. Game on. Great start from Divorce. Just to show that that hasn't phased him. First dart, treble 20. Second dart, treble 20. Third One dart, treble 20. The Brilliant dart. There's Jackie. And I'll talk about not being phased. The second of the game there, Divorce has watched Mitchell finish on 101, shrugs his shoulders, 100. bang, bang, bang. Yeah, because he knows he's, uh, he's still in the set. It's as simple as that. He'll stay down there. 82. A little wild into the three, so... Chance here for Mitchell. If he can put three good darts together now, he won't consider that one of them. One hundred and twenty-three. Excellent, Excellent follow-up from that first dart. Indeed, yeah. Edging closer to the finish. One hundred. From divorce, so Mitchell has pretty much wiped out that big one eighty start from the Belgian. Brilliant shot. 140. Here to require 139. Switching it around here, DeVos, starting with the 19s 59. and then moving upstairs to the 20s. Scott, after require that. 138. But, uh, not getting the success he required. 80 left for him. 138 on. Get to the right at the top of the board. 40. It's too high. Oh, it's too Scott, high. you require 40. An opportunity for Scott to go two sets to one up. Game shot in the third well, set. Well, Scott Mitchell. Scott Mitchell. Fourth set, Stepped first up leg. Up back to the Mitchell first. family. Game on. Once again, cheering on. One hundred and forty. The flight loss, but he won't mind that. And the one forty for divorce again. Steps up to the hockey. No pressure. Doesn't yep. mind. Just gets a good score out of it. Twenty ton pluses for Mitchell, though. Really 100. showcasing his consistency through this match so far. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. He's. he's Playing good, solid darts. He knows what he's got to do. Okay. Keep the pressure on good. 140. Go. Highlighted with those averages as well. 94.32. That's very good. Ho, ho, ho to you, sir. At 102.76 <laughs> on the nine darts for Scott Mitchell as well. And, uh, well, DeVos's nine dart average is up of 100 as well. So these two really giving us a, a grandstand finish to a day that's really had some cracking darts in it. It has, yes. Brilliant darts all the way through, I think. One hundred. That's a nice finish. Yeah, those averages will stay as they are. Yep. As DeVos moves into uh, one two one. And this is good for Mitchell. One hundred. Here to require one hundred and twenty one. Divorce and has to watch on. As Mitchell Scott requires one six one. So uh, that's the first part of it. Uh, Couldn't get the treble seventeen for the bull finish. One hundred and thirty-seven. Uh, third dart there. Third, yeah, Will he get a shot? I don't know. 
12. Game yes. shot in the first leg. Game shot. Boss. Second leg, Commitment Scott to Jackie at the back there. Game on. <laughs> yeah. You sometimes wonder if he's a little bit more passionate than some of the Belgian players. He is darting around up there. He's very, very passionate about his darts, full stop. 78. But he doesn't just support one player, he supports all the players. No, absolutely. He's, uh, yeah. he's good to have around. Yeah. Another 180, maybe. Yes. 180. Again, DeVos goes big with his first visit. Dare we mention the nine darter? Dare we? 60. Oh, yeah. I stood behind you and Paul earlier when you put the kibosh on that, so I'm not saying anything. <laughs> Number four. Oh. That's one way of ending it. 64. <laughs> Let's yeah. follow it with that. That was really disappointing. Yeah. Without a doubt. What could have been. Mitchell, can he capitalise? 60. No. So, the horse doesn't put himself into a finish here, so uh, Mitchell starts by attacking the 19s. Treble 20 would be handy, and he's got it. So, uh, these two, pretty level here, but uh, don't forget Mitchell went off first, so... The horse has a big opportunity to level us all up at two apiece. 60. He does, but with darts like that, if Scotty puts in a 140 year, you've got to make him favourite for the league. Well, he's been stumbling through this leg since he hit four straight terrible 20s in the beginning and then. Sort of Lips towards the finish line. Can he get there? 138. Terrible 20 up first. And he's in that one again. So uh, all of a sudden, we've seen Scott Mitchell go 101. 21. And a 21 when you consider he started off with a 180 in this leg can Mitchell finish him off no not on this visit Forty-eight. here to require 117 yeah the big Bournemouth fan not Putting his sharp shooting boots on just yet. 77. And he's going to get another chance. That's close. Scott, you require 56. And all of a sudden, this is how the complexion of these games changes. If he gets this, he now has the second leg. leg. Scott Mitchell. This set to finish the game off altogether. Third leg. Kent to throw first. Game on. Foxy has got to. Dig deep now. 60. Throw in to save the match. And Scott, do you throw in to win the match? One big leg from a former world champion could seal this. 140. Certainly could. That is a cracker. And that's a great start. And you consider he's throwing against the darts as well. 140. So 140 from Divorce to keep the competition hot. And Mitchell straight back at action, straight back in the business. One what a time for his first win in this game. Doesn't get better than that, does it? What a moment to find that. Can Divorce match him? 100. And Mitchell against the darts then. He'll throw to put himself within the finish line and that's a cracker of a first dart. It really is. 100. Good shot. Mitchell leaves himself 81 here. Give Divorce has to put the pressure on that's a good dart 
Keep them coming, get the horse. Downstairs. 129. Scott would acquire 81. Leaves him 72. 81 to maintain his run and go through to the next round. Bull. 56. Wire. Here to require 72. 72 to take us into a deciding yeah. set. Nerves around the building. And he's missed it. While Kirk DeVos with an opportunity to level us all. And now the opportunity is Mitchell's, Martin. It certainly is. And he's hit a full team. Nerves are jangling. Wow. 11 left. Double four. King. Shout. And Scott Mitchell. Scott Mitchell. Into the next round. Well, he said to me at backstage, Martin, sometimes <laughs> I'm guilty of overthinking it. And that's exactly what he did when he hit the 14. Yeah. He just took too long to think about it rather than going and get the numbers he wanted. But Mitchell survives a little scare at the end there. And he's through. He is, yes. And well done, Scotty. And well done, Gert. Great match. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for Foxy Herdy Boss. But through to tomorrow's quarterfinals, it's Scotty Dog, Scott Mitchell. Excellent start, Scott Mitchell. Perhaps at the end there, given a chance he didn't think he was going to get, but he certainly didn't mess about. That double four seems him in to the last eight. And yet the boss still hasn't gone past the last 16 of the World Masters. Well, Mitchell's never gone further than the quarterfinals. Can he correct that tomorrow? Big thank you to Martin Adams and Jess Smith who've joined us on commentary today. Uh, Mitchell and the boss there, 25 ton pluses against Scott Mitchell. If you're going to play the former world champion, you have to keep scoring fairly high and fairly accurately because Mitchell is just right up there. The results for the day, well, here they are. We started off with Glenda and uh, keeps going. The reigning champion looking to do something that's not been done for a few years and retain the title. Harms and Labanowski's through as well. Hedman, the only female seed to go through in today's stuff. Uh, we've had Hughes and Williams cracking battle. Edmonds is still one to look out for. Scott Waits has gone. Fitton and Mitchell. Oh, come back tomorrow. It's going to be much fun again, you know.